Now, before we dive into uh, talking about subdomains and how to discover them using a variety of tools and methods, I do want to take a moment for this lesson uh, before the next one to talk about the other section of uh, this website of ExploitDB and talk about the exploits uh, part. Now, uh, generally, this website provides two things. It provides a Google hacking database and it provides exploits alongside other things. But generally speaking, uh, the goal of this website, the goal of this website is to give you um, this uh, comprehensive database of publicly disclosed exploits and vulnerabilities. And they can be for various software and operating systems and applications. As you can see, uh, just similar to the um, output of, uh, of, of, you know, the Google hacking database, you, you can see the date of submission here. Um, this is where you can download specific exploits, basically in the form of TXT. Uh, with a proof of concept. And this is where you have the section for verified if this specific um, submission has been verified or not by the um, ExploitDB uh, administrators. And then here you have the title itself of the exploit. Now, uh, exploit generally, exploits are software programs or techniques that take advantage of vulnerabilities in the software, hardware, or network system to do some kind of action. And it can be, for example, to gain unauthorized access, control, or data exfiltration. It can be many different things. Uh, an exploit may take the form of a piece of code, such as we can see here if we download it. Uh, let's give it an example. All right, we're going to open that. Uh, let's open this one. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, I think it might be here. Yeah. So uh, we can see two examples. So these are basically some uh, exploits that I downloaded directly from the ExploitDB website. And the way it is, is pretty straightforward. So here you have all the information about uh, the submission, right? The type of submission. And then you have, uh, usually it includes information about uh, the software itself. So is it some kind of application? Is it a web application? Is it a operating system exploit? Or is it anything else like that? And you have some usually description and some like step-by-step -step of what to do um, to utilize it. Uh, proof of concept, right? Proof of concept is just uh, uh, basically a proof of how this exploit works. And uh, that's pretty much it about this. But then, where is it? Exploit database, okay. So here you can also filter based on specific um, types of uh, exploits. So you have either local exploits, exploits that work locally, or you have remote exploits, or you have um, web applications. And again, just similar to the uh, Google Hacking Database, whenever you click, on a specific type of um, of exploit, you also have this little menu with drop down options. Uh, you have denial of service or anything else that is relevant to your application, to your technology that you're searching on your client system, right? So this is about exploit DB. Now you can also have filter and filter here about specific ports. So let's say that I want to search for remote and I want to find port 21 FTP. And um, I want to search for specific type of FTP server, right? It can be a specific name or specific version and anything like that. You can also filter based on platform. So what type of uh, platform it is? It is it for Linux or is it some kind of um, number of windows, right? It can be anything that is relevant to you. And then uh, that's pretty much how it works in terms of search. You also have some advanced uh, filters. You can filter based on a CV, right? And a CV is, stands for uh, common vulnerabilities and exposures. So for example, each CV gets a specific number. Uh, CV, CV, you can think of CVs like um, 
um, dictionary or like a database of publicly known information security vulnerabilities and exposures that um, these have specific IDs for these vulnerabilities and a reference method to publicly identifying and describing them. So let's, um, I, I want to show you some other type of uh, source. It's, it's called, um, let's go, ex for example, and type uh, WordPress CV, right? So if we go and search for WordPress CV, let's say that you want to find, you identified on your client system that they have WordPress running. And you want to search for any CVs, any common vulnerabilities and exposures related to WordPress. And if you have a specific version, that's fantastic. But if you don't, so this is what you would do. And uh, you may, you have many different websites like these, right? So you have many different websites. The most common ones are this. It's called CVE Details. And what you can do here, basically you search for, you have like this table, right? Table, you you can see the, the different years throughout the years, the um, types of CVEs that have been identified, public CVEs, and you can, you, you can search based on specific categories. So you can see for denial of service or for code execution or SQL injection or um, gaining information, right? Some kind of, let's say, misconfiguration in WordPress that allows you to gain information about um, users or about plugins or about any kind of internal installations or anything like that. So what you do is you just click on a specific category or a specific number, and you can choose, you can also choose based on the year. So if I go one back, I can say I want, let's give it a try like this. So for example, I can say that I want to go back to WordPress and just choose a different year, right? Let's say uh, gain information, but the latest one was in 2021. The, the last one that was reported, some kind of CV that allows to gain information. Um, WordPress uh, is a CMS, uh, can be exploited in a way that ex exposes password protected posts and pages. Now, this is really interesting. Now, things like these, see, you also need to look at access. So access is how can the CVE be utilized? How can this specific CV be exploited or utilized or leveraged, right? So if it is remote, so it means that you can do it, any any hacker can do it remotely. Anybody can utilize this rem remotely. Whereas sometimes you have internal or um, internally, right? Within uh, already having some kind of set of privileges or set of permissions or access that by having this, you're only then able to uh, leverage some kind of CV. It really depends. Um, so there is a lot of factors in information when it comes to uh, having a specific uh, uh, CVE, right? Um, but generally, this is how it looks like. And you have many different websites. Let me show you my favorite website. It's called uh, Sploitus. And um, the reason why I like it so much is because whenever you search for, let's say, WordPress, uh, you can um, uh, save this to your toolbox. It's, uh, you, whenever you search for a specific uh, technology, let's say either WordPress or Apache web server. So what it does is this. It, 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 it basically separates this into two kind of uh, sections. The first one is exploits. So you're seeing the same thing that you would see in ExploitDB. And you can also filter based on what kind of exploit you want to see, based on the date or uh, the, recent, the most recent one, for instance, or based on the score, for example, the severity, the, the most severe kind of um, exploits that has that is re re relevant for Apache, right? Or just default uh, view. And then on the other side of the coin, we have tools. Now, this is why I like this so much is because uh, it uh, shows you relevant tools from GitHub. I believe it's only GitHub, maybe also GitLab, but I'm not sure. Uh, it shows you uh, tools and scanners that are applicable for Apache. Now, if I search for WordPress, 
It's going to show me a variety of tools that uh, kind of saves you the time from going to uh, each, source, each source on its own. And it's like you don't need to use only ExploitDB and you don't need to use um, GitHub on its own. Whereas you get the two things together in here, and this is extremely useful. So you can kind of explore and find specific uh, type of scanners or anything like that is relevant to you. You see tools for recon. Um, so that's about uh, briefly about understanding CVs, understanding exploits, and you can also search for any type of resource that is most convenient um, for you to use. If you find something else that is um, easier to uh, to consume, easier to use in, in terms of a, in terms of UI and everything else. So uh, definitely go ahead and use that. But this is really my favorite website uh, to search for specific technologies if I want to identify any kind of exploits alongside with tools that I may use to gather even more reconnaissance on these type of technologies.